and he's trying too hard. Take his yes. time and move in. You make a good point there, boy. The Olympics in Athens. A crowd of Irish supporters were in the arena when he fought in an important contest, and they wanted him, they cheered for him, and he lost his own plot of the way he normally boxes. Pressure, pressure, pressure. He'd know that now if he could listen to me to agree. But here the pressure is on him amazingly. He wants to impress, and you are impressing. You don't need to do much more. Give him a little too much space. That's when you have to show a crowd a little bit more, and you just like you did with you. And then he'll show a foul to the That's the voice of Emmanuel Stewart. Give him too much space. Just do as you're doing, Andy. I know someone walk into my city, you know, he's trying to... This guy should walk into the city, you know? No, but if you saw a crowd in here, you don't have time to do that. Four or ten seconds. If you saw a crowd in right away, if you write that again, he's not going to be able to do it. But you're giving him too much space. Okay. Second chance. Red five. The key sentence there, Dave Boy, was you're giving him too much space. I think Manny Stewart wants him to cut down that ring a bit. And Andy may very well hate him. But in this case, Saliga is the rabbit and Lee is the hare. He's doing all the chasing. Lee as the greyhound, he's done all the chasing. See, what he, he's making the classic mistake. He's following him round to the ring, round to the ring, instead of cutting the ring off. And that's what he wants. It only takes one or two steps to cut the ring off completely. And that's what he has to do. But instead, he, as you can see, he's walking round along with him, Jimmy, which is the wrong thing to do. You have to cut the ring off so he can't go this way or he can't go that way. Then you nail him in on the ropes or in the corner. But you don't follow them around the ring because that's... These are the little things that come with experience and Manny Stewart will hammer it into his head, not physically, but talk to him about it now. He's got him in the right place and he makes the right moves. But no doubt Kaliga has come to survive rather than... Rather than throw, what has he thrown of consequence? He has nearly thrown all the punches. Now, Faliga, we know, can knock out a person. Oh! And what a drag, drag on the left hand. Lights out. Absolute oh, drag. Alessandro Faliga. He's never been stopped when he's on the brink of it now, I can tell you. Benil Tidus Khan. He's one ferociously tough man. He really is. Now, Andy Lee, can you do it in style? Yes, he can. Faliga's down again. Oh, he's in shattered he is. He's just above me here. The referee shouting the numbers at him. He looks at his corner for Liga. The corner can help him now. Lee can pull oh. the He threw one at Lee. Oh. He catches him again, and down he goes. And this time it's over. of Andy Lee has done the business. We thought it would, we know it can, and now before our very eyes, this proud young man has done the business. And for the first time in his pro career, Alessandro Faliga has been stopped. Let's face it, he was crucified by the power punching of Lee. Absolute power. Dave, you've been in many great fights. You've seen many great fights. Who can punch here it? Out here it is, Dave. A cracking left hand. Just come right out of the blue. Cracking stuff from Manatee. A pinpoint punch. I've hit a bang on the chin there. Or just on the eye. And down he went. Absolutely fantastic. The second time he went down now, I didn't think uh, it was a real good punch. But the first one did all the damage. And that was a writing on the wall. From there on in, the fight was over. What power and what a prospect. Dave Boy, he is an unbelievable puncher. Now he's going to meet other guys along the road. He still only has 15 pro fights. Let us count the chickens before the hatch. But I'll tell you one thing. They're brooding now, that's for sure. This fellow can hit. And if he can hit like he can hit, especially when his, when his jab turns into a hoop, he's lethal. He is. He's an absolute... He's a good boxer, he's a good fighter, he's a good puncher. You know, he has a few wee rough edges yet now. He's done the finished article just right now, but it's only a matter of time before this young man becomes world champion. Here we're about to have the official result from Mike Goodall. Ladies and gentlemen, in the interest of uh, Alejandro Valigia's own safety, the referee has stopped the contest after one minute 49 seconds of the fifth round. The winner, ladies and gentlemen, and now undefeated in 15 contests, Lyrics and
everybody wants to uh, shake hands with the man. He only has two hands, but two absolutely lethal hands they are. One man who is in the ring there. Just be careful, Marty. If he jabs the right duck. Marty Morrissey.